so starting my little house tour and garden tour. So these are some great tulips that are thriving at the moment. And then we want to leave all of these dandelions as well because I think they look really nice together. And then there's some more here. These are some homegrown... Oh, these are actually from a shop bought sunflower seeds. These are my own sunflower seeds I dried from an old sunflower. These are pumpkin seeds that I dried from a pumpkin. And then this is my... I'm trying to plant pumpkins and stuff. But yeah, they're not doing too well as you can see. So yeah, they're quite long so I just planted them and I didn't dig too deep. I, th I think I should have dug deeper because I think they're struggling a bit. And then these were quite hard to plant again so it's all a bit of a mess to be honest. But hopefully the sunflowers are going to get strong and then I can plant them properly. So these are sunflowers and then these are old daffodils. Okay, so the hallway is pretty messy, but you know, hallways are messy. We haven't replaced this door yet, but that's the next thing that we're doing. We're getting a nice blue door, and we're just talking about how to sort out this area here. And yeah, James did all the electrics in the house, so this is a new part of the ceiling slash staircase here, when he did those lights. And this is the office. Let's see. This is mine and James's nice chair for our backs that my dad gave us, which is nice of him. And James made this table here. And then I'm just ordering stuff with this paint pen and these takeaway boxes, which is really good for me. So there's a few kind of junky things in here at the moment. We've just picked up these tables on the street, so I'm just working out what to do with that. This uh, is usually kind of an art space for me, but we've also got a few dumpy things here the moment but this is quite a good space to do art some nice plants look how good it is it's space i love it our family member painted this and it's amazing we love it so much it's really good isn't it it's just lovely down here we have some nice little bits and bobs this is my gay lego man that miriam got me Thank you! I made this little car. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocky. I lost it. That's a key ring, but I lost it. It broke, so just pulling over at the moment. And then we have these good finger puppets. I don't know where we got these from. I think James got them free with a job that he did. Walk into our dining room, living room. One of my favourite rooms in the house. It also hasn't been done yet, but it's still one of my favourite rooms. If you want clean surfaces, because I know for me that makes the whole world of difference, then this is kind of a cheat, but it works really well for me. I have a box underneath tables and things, and I just put everything in them, and yeah. So, for example, I could put those controllers in this box, and make this uh, surface really clean and then you'd have it all there to sort through and also your space would be really clear. We got given these awesome sofas from our cousins. Thank you! We appreciate you! They've done us really well and they really match the room as well. The room is kind of blues, browns, greens, yellows. These are some frame posters. I still need to, they're still wonky. So last time I filmed them, they were wonky and they're still wonky. But this is Little Sims, who's one of my favorite artists. She's a hip hop artist. If you wanna check her out, I would highly recommend it. And over here is our dining room area. Got um, a board with all of our stuff on. And a week planner to help me plan with my executive function skills. This area is kind of like good memories and nice things. So cute. So this is the cheese plant that I've got loads of versions of upstairs. So this is the the parent plant that I got all of them from. This is some Lego that me and James have built. 
try and prioritise like fun times in this house. So if you've been seeing Snowpiercer, that is our Lego Snowpiercer. It's got like interior rooms as well. It's super cool. This is my favourite part of the room, the PlayStation. Okay, he's got me that great light. It's a really big TV because I'm not really with my eyes. This is Athena. She is a Greek goddess and is very often has been associated with Hecate, who is my goddess. These are chases, so that's when James replaced all the electrics. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I actually forgot to show you guys the bathroom before. Ta da! So James did all of this. Nice big shower. Trying to give this a bit of a clean. Yeah, so I used lemon and bicarbonate soda, which worked quite well. Nice window. Thank you, plants. I was totally obsessed with this when we first got it because it reminds me of like a spaceship. How space, look at that, such a spaceship. I love sci fi and spaceships and stuff like that. I was like, whoa, for ages. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so this is great because I love baths. And he put in this toilet. She's cute. He made this cabinet. Lovely piece of oak on top, I think. And he also made this. Looks nice. And did the tiling and then yeah. Up here it's got my reminders of what I should do in the morning and in the evening to help with my executive function skills. Let's have a look. Wash face, brush teeth, floss, possibly shower, get dressed. Look at to-do list, clean. Exercise, yoga, stretch, walk. Evening. Clear up, go to bed early. Wash floor, teeth. No, wash, floss, teeth. Do some self-soothing. Moisturise. Okay, so this is one of the rooms that James has done recently. And this is kind of, we're making it like a well-being room if I need some quiet space. And obviously if James needs some quiet space as well. And this is a really large lamp that my parents gave us. We're struggling a bit to know where to put it, so I think this is working well. And then, yeah, we've got a great big Cloves holder, which has served us well. Highly recommended. You can get it at, what's it called? Argos. Yes, I know, totally fascinating stuff. And then here are some of my plants, many of which I've propagated, so reproduced. Um, and then these are some seedlings as well. It's not that much luck at the moment, but I think after some more careful care, I think hopefully they will thrive. This room is a bit of an experiment to be honest, we're just having a look and trying out stuff and seeing what works and what doesn't. This is my chest of drawers, that's going to be like my kind of makeup and doing myself up area, which hasn't been in use for ages, um, so yeah I don't really wear makeup that often at the moment because this hasn't been around, like hasn't been in use because of all the building stuff. But also, I think I've talked about in another video that I found out how yourself, how damaging. Oh, that mirror! We got this mirror. It was outside for ages, so I think I need to clean that with. You can clean stuff like this with vinegar or lemon and bicarbonate of soda. So I'm getting into like organic, non-toxic cleaning products. FYI. Anyway, on that topic of toxic chemicals in products, I've realised that lots of my makeup had toxic chemicals in them, so I got rid of a lot of it. And I actually have some non-toxic makeup here from Tropic, but it's super expensive. So this is going to be my little makeup place, and I've just started to reorder this um, drawer. So it's really good. You probably heard from Marie Kondo and other people that work on the lifestyle that it's great to make sure that your objects are visible so that you can easily get them and know where everything is. So yeah, pretty happy about this room. 
so it's kind of meeting a lot of needs and it's nice and green and we've got some exercise tools yoga mat yoga blocks it's a random stick that i painted i don't really know what to do with it yeah it's a good room this okay now this is our bedroom that james has also done as you can see it's super nice with an awesome floor i think before i was complaining the reason i have these floors as in in general um because we well i chose to paint the floors white anyway it's a long story but it was really ugly and stressed me out and now look at it so good Woo! and then we've got some cool plants these curtains are actually from the old tenants that are all messed up and ripped but we don't mind that do we don't mind a bit of variety we'll get some new ones one day but yeah when we have enough money and so yeah it's very cream in here you'll notice I think we're gonna have these are cool hot water bottles, very long hot water bottles. These, this kind of theme of cream, and then over here we'll have a backdrop of like mountains. So we're gonna have to make one colour a focus uh, when we're sure about what it's gonna look like. Yeah, very happy about it. And James made me this little space here, it's my little workspace. My laptop. So it's a really nice little alcove. And um, nice. These lights as well look good. I'm going to put them up in a certain way. So these are actually Christmas lights, but I just use them normally. And this is a weighted blanket, which they're quite good, but they actually kind of hurt my um, joints. Because <laughs> I have chronic joint pain sometimes. So I'm a bit like, oh, this is great for anxiety, but then sometimes it's like, ouch. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with it. <laughs> Don't really know where to put it. Because it's so heavy, so it's just dead now. Okay, so I think we see my well, they're a bit, all a bit wonky at right? um, I'm not sure this is the best place to put them, but this is James's new little toilet. It's a cool painting. And look at that dude! Oh, I guess somebody doesn't have to be a specific gender. Or it doesn't have to be a dude. But look at it! Awesome! It's really high this ceiling. And James made all of this. Made this whole cabinet. Yeah, outside this toilet is the stairs, the old stairs. That's the hallway downstairs. The room is done, but it's now become our kind of junk junk room and James's um, tools and things that we're gonna put in a shed one day. That's one of his next projects is building a shed. Things on the wall. And these are made out of Milk cartons by Jane, pretty ingenious. So yeah, this is quite a nice room normally. Okay, so the pond is looking pretty manky. We're following some pond kind of groups and a lot of them are really into natural ponds and letting the ponds do their natural thing. But we're not really sure because it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It was like a swamp. Yeah, part of me is thinking maybe I should clean it out or if I should just leave it to do the natural thing. Because there are, you can see plants are growing back. But I might at least maybe skim the surface. And I think a lot of ponds, you can just leave them naturally. So I'm sure it is fine and I just don't know what I'm talking about. And you see my, I've got a little pirate ship. No, a pirate flag over here. Look. And then some of our friends gave us this tree. It's an Acer, which is one of my favourite trees. And planted it with this tube so the water goes straight to the roots. This awesome tulips that I planted. So I think I planted these in October. So it's really nice to see them bloom. I'm having a good old, good old sesh. This is quite overgrown. We're doing, we don't really cut the lawn that much to help with insects, um, but we probably will cut it soon. There's a campaign called No Mow May, even though it's not May, but in general it's quite nice to leave your grass growing for nature, even though it looks a bit messy. Definitely a bed that we need to weed. 
there's nothing in here that I'm actually growing so this is all weed apart from there's this tiny rosemary surviving go rosemary and then here we got loads of chives and I think there's some wildflower here I might I remember I actually saved some wildflower seeds so maybe it's that there's mint mint and thyme and more chives so this bed's doing really well oh actually I think there's also this parsley yeah a little parsley surviving and then down here I planted some I think I planted some peppers some melons peppers melons possibly pumpkins so there is some growth I really should label stuff I was gonna label stuff and then I didn't now I have no idea what's going on but it's good news they're growing <laughs> compost These are some old beds that we, it was the first beds that we made I think. We figured that the wood wasn't like thick enough. But we have soil in there so I put, this is all mulch on top. It's a bit extreme levels of mulch but uh, again I didn't really know what I was doing. And yeah, we'll figure out what we need to do with them soon. So whoever, whoever lived, lived here before put all these cool bushes like at the end. So they're all quite varied and different. They're quite nice. Here's me punch bag, which is fun. I'm not an expert person with martial arts, but I know some kickboxing and jujitsu. So it's good if I'm if I need exercise or if I'm frustrated or if I'm bored because I find listening to music and doing exercise is really fun. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Washing pot time! Just put the, using this cardboard as a table. Cardboard box. Just finished washing these pots. As you can see there's quite a lot of them. If people don't wash their pots they can get different plant infections and things like that. So yeah, so as you can see I've done quite a lot. So it looks a bit clearer over there, so that's good. But still a bit messy. I've just ordered the pots in size, roughly size order. They look so neat. So yeah, this is our kind of little, a little bit of a junk area outside. But a lot of it is like tools and materials James uses. Then there's planting and like gardening tools. And these are all pots I washed up recently, as you know, because I showed you earlier. James so far has yeah, he's built this really awesome, um, what is it called, like a door frame? Yeah, he took out the old door and then built a new door frame. We actually bought this door from somewhere. It's made of oak, so it's pretty nice. And that paint, I love that paint colour, so good. We did actually have a brighter blue, which was still nice, but I had a very distinct picture of the kind of blue that I wanted. So. We're going to go for this and we're going to put it everywhere basically, outside. Blue door. We got this um, door hinge, are they called? I don't know what it's called, but it's really good because it was flaying about before and whacking into everything, so nice and secure. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the kitchen, which is through here. So yeah, this is our awesome little kitchen. You'll see that these cabinets are different to these because we got given them. 
So this is one of the rooms that still needs to be redone, I guess, the words are. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? James actually saved this from one of his building jobs. So we're very lucky as well. We've got this from someone, we've got these covers from someone, and we've got that fridge from someone. Yeah, very lucky.